what's going on guys welcome back to the channel uh, today is going to be a quick video on an update on the femi x8 mini there has been a firmware update for the aircraft and this firmware update uh, claims to have fixed uh, many of the problems that i mentioned in my first video so the number one item on that list is the crooked horizon now uh, the gimbal straight out of the box uh, was crooked for me so just to let you know after my first flight I did go back home and do a auto calibration of the gimbal and uh, there was no difference. Uh, it didn't fix the issue. So then I had to go ahead and uh, do a manual calibration to where I manually adjusted the parameters for the R axis, which seemed to do the trick. Um, I took it out for a couple flights and it did hold up, but then uh, by the third or fourth flight, it actually uh, went back to where it was before. Now, a couple other things that this firmware update has claimed to fix is the RC uh, relay and also an update to the ESC. And also now this supports the uh, Wi-Fi connection between just your drone and a phone, uh, which you have to update uh, the app also to get access to. And as of the time I'm making this video, the app has not updated in the Google Play Store. Uh, what you will have to do is rescan uh, the QR code that came on the inside of the lid of your box and then download it that way. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm going to uh, do all my checks and everything. Uh, I've done a calibration at home, uh, a compass calibration. I'm going to try to do a compass calibration here, but it does take a little while to do. So hopefully with a few tries, I can get a compass calibration done. And also we'll go through one of the intelligent flight features, uh, which will be the waypoints. Uh, we'll go through that and I'll show you how to actually uh, use that. So just hold tight. And if you are new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know the next time I post my videos. All right, so I'm good to go. I did all my checks and I also did a compass calibration successfully. And uh, all it is to do right now is launch. All right, so I'm bring it down just a little bit. Right now it's stable. Uh, it's moving around just a little bit, but um, it's a lot more stable than it was before. Hopefully you can see that. Let's bring it down just a little bit more. Uh, it's holding steady right there. And uh, last time, it was a little bit more wind and it was getting pushed around, but that was before the update. Uh, and this is holding steady right now. It's not even, it's barely moving. And I will put the wind conditions up here that I have today. It's pretty much no wind really. So um, let's take this up. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the video. And I'm going to record this in 4K30, starting now. Now, it's not the best of days today. Uh, it is overcast, but um, the video quality would just, you know, speak for itself, regardless if it's sunny or not. And I do have this in auto, so it should adjust to the lighting. I'm gonna bring this all the way up so we can get a look at this horizon. And I have the grid lines on, but you can barely see the grid lines. I just don't like the way they have these grid lines. They're not thick enough. <laughs> um, but uh, it looks fairly, fairly decent. I'm going to And the drone is right, right above me, and I need to flip up the, the, the antennas. So this is pointing towards east, I believe, and that's towards the river, so the Potomac River. So the, the landscape should level out, and it looks pretty decent. Let me see. It's hard to tell, so you guys comment down below. 
yeah it's, it's pretty decent actually now this is my third flight with it i did uh do a flight after i did the update just to check and also to see the footage uh, so i can actually uh, you know give my honest opinion about the footage after the update so on the fpv um, as far as the relay rc relay i mean right now fpv looks a lot better than it did on the first flight and after looking at the footage it looks a lot better uh, than it did on the first flight uh, let me know if you notice any of the dark edges the vignetting on the edges um, they which doesn't seem as prevalent as it was before and also another thing that I noticed is that when I switch over to the sunny uh, white balance profile, it kind of messes up the image for some reason. I, I just didn't like it, so I'm leaving it in auto right now. Uh, but today I will be using the cloudy profile anyway. But on my last flight, the sunny profile did not uh, work well. Now it's handling pretty good, it flies pretty good, and I still haven't adjusted my my rates on here uh, because it is um, a little snappy. So I'm going to bring it over here and I'm actually facing away from it so I'm going to have to face towards it. Yeah, this is not OcuSync so um, as you saw, the image was kind of breaking up because I was actually facing away from it. So now I have the antennas pointed directly at it. And 300 feet away, a little over, almost 400 feet. And do a slow pan over this way. And so far, this is um, looking pretty okay. Yeah, the horizon is, is nice and level for the most part. So what I'm going to do, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to do a, a waypoint mission and see if this works. So I'm going to stop the recording here. I still have my screen record going, I believe. Yes. Stop the recording here. And then I'm going to go uh, to that uh, camcorder right here underneath the, the record button. And I'm going to select intelligent flight mode. And then I'm going to go to waypoints. And I wanted to plot um, points on a map. So I'm going to go to uh, beeline map. Read the instructions there. And here uh, you can change it over to uh, satellite view or hybrid view as well uh, what you would have to do is go back out and then um, change it all right so go back in intelligent mode waypoints beeline okay all right so uh, all i'm going to do is just do a mission around this baseball field here so you just plot uh, points on the map so my first point is going to be right here and you can choose your flight height which is 66 meters I'm just going to stay safe and go to maybe 85 meters then you can choose what action you want to do at the destination so what I'm going to do is just probably just record 10 seconds and I'm going to add that then I'm going to go to the next point which will probably be right here. I'm going to take maybe one single shot. Next will be right over here. So what I'm going to do is do a burst shot there. Uh, I'm just going to end it near the home point, which is right there. Next one, if I can. There we go. And I'm just going to do nothing there. All right, so from there, you press this arrow right here on the right upper hand corner. 
and then you can choose your uh, flight speed so I'm just gonna leave it at three meters per second you can also do a uh, time-lapse video or time-lapse photo now with the photo time-lapse it doesn't uh, you know generate the um, the final product itself I, I believe you have to actually do uh, post-production yourself and stitch the photos together um, but with the video time-lapse all it is is a uh, sped up you know uh, video and uh, that's pretty much it and if you activate that it deactivates anything else that you um, program through your flight all right so you can also choose to uh, go your heading will be towards your route basically it just your heading will be following the line of the route or you can go with free I'm gonna go with free because I'm taking some photos and I want to point it in a you know a certain direction once it gets uh, to the waypoint my fail safe um, I want it to exit if I lose connection or something like that and then uh, once the mission is complete I want it to return to home all right right here you can uh, save it for later if you want um, if you want to fly the same route again or you can just go ahead and fly I'm just gonna go ahead and fly and it's headed it should be headed to the uh, first waypoint which it is and if you want to go back to your FPV screen you just tap on the compass there and uh, open up the screen now you can point this in any direction that you want as you're flying And it's coming back to the last waypoint, which I have nothing uh, set for that waypoint. All right, so it's hit the last waypoint. Now it's heading, uh, returning back to home, to the home point. And it's as simple as that. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is so what I'm going to do now is um, take it around and show you something that I also found with the gimbal which uh, should be addressed now if I uh, point this gimbal down 90 degrees like this all right as you can see the with the indicator here it says it's minus 90 degrees so what I'm going to do is bring this forward and I don't even have to go full stick forward this forward and then I'm going to let off the stick right now see what happened to the gimbal I didn't move the gimbal I didn't move the scroll wheel at all uh, it went it actually flopped flopped up I'm going to do the same thing going backwards I'm going to take it back down to 90 degrees and I'm just going to go backwards and you see it move once I move backwards let's go side to side let off the stick it's fine going side to side bring rotate it all the way up and it drops when you go forward only because it's compensating for the pitch of the aircraft let's see what happens when I go backwards and I pitch it up it's fine going backwards actually no it's not let's do this again let's see I'm gonna go backwards let off the stick and it goes down. I didn't do anything with the gimbal that time and it went down 
to minus 10 degrees. All right, so yeah, this, this gimbal does flop around. So uh, be aware of that if you're trying to capture some nice footage or something. <laughs> but be aware of that. So I'm running low. I just got the, the message. So what I'm gonna do is press the return to home button. All right, guys, there you go. Uh, there's been a firmware update and it did correct the horizon uh, issue. Um, I'm gonna fly this you know, more and see if it holds up and uh, I will let you know if it doesn't, <laughs> definitely. But other than that, it does fly pretty good. It was uh, stable here uh, as opposed to my first flight. Um, this one, it actually looked rock solid. Uh, but then again, uh, there's not as much wind as it was uh, on my first flight. And as far as the video quality, I recorded in 4K at 30 frames per second. I left it in auto and um, it does look a little better. Uh, I'm not sure if they addressed that in this firmware update. It didn't say on here, but uh, I didn't notice too much of the vignetting around the sides. And also, like I mentioned, um, the sunny white balance profile does kind of mess up the image a little bit as well. So I left it in auto, which seems to be a little better. Also, there was a, another issue that I brought up with the gimbal uh, when pointing down 90 degrees and how it flops when you move the drone around. So you can add that to the list of things that need to be addressed. But if you guys like this video, uh, go ahead and uh, give it a thumbs up. If you found it useful, also uh, share it if you like. And if you like this type of content, if you like drone reviews, uh, tips, tricks, and cinematic videos, uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know the next time I post a video. But until then, you guys fly safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.